<laughs> Feeling okay about today? Yeah, I haven't looked at this, but I'm sure. So for that, I'm not fully confident they're gonna sing both parts. Okay. I was gonna do like, I'll do the first part and everybody does the second part. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna invite them to sing with me on the first part, so it's just gonna be a shadow of a piano on the second part. Okay. Does that yep. make sense? Cool. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> cool. Any other questions about the day? Um, nope, I'm good. Cool. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've moved this over here so that we could zoom in the camera a little bit. Okay. Yep. So Betsy and I are gonna be here. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll take that. Much smaller. Much smaller. Yeah. <laughs>
Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of laughing in here, and I hate to stop it. I'm so sorry. I don't want to stop it. Keep it going after worship, yeah? <laughs> it's wonderful for you all to join us today for a very special worship service. I'm Pastor Nikolai, but this is, what do you think, Maestro Oliver Hall? <laughs> He's the director, yeah. So this is Oliver Hall. Every Sunday, he makes the drive from the cities to be with us and lead us in music. Um, a few weeks ago, you had your senior recital, yeah. senior in high school, even though by his talent, you might gauge him as a college senior, right? Um, but he had his recital in the cities, and we're just grateful that he's going to share some of those pieces with us this morning. Um, it's going to be a very different kind of worship service, um, and it's focused on music and how music helps us focus on Your feedback. Oh, oh my gosh. It's a plane, it's not feedback. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, his, his grad party is today, and you are welcome to visit him in Fridley. Um, his, uh, let's see, it starts at noon, yeah, right? Noon to full three. Till three, noon till three. So show up at four and give them a hard time. Yeah. And what was that? And, oh, and stop talking, get the show on the road. Got it. Uh, well, I don't know if you noticed, Betsy, but we're doing announcements right now, and we're not doing them later. Okay? But yes, that's a good point. I'll get to my announcements. Um, Betsy and her crew of our youngest worshipers were downstairs this morning doing some painting. Um, thank you to everyone who participated, and if you want to go see a really cool work of art, is it in progress or done? In progress. In progress head downstairs. Um, huge thanks to Pat and Bob, uh, who helped paint downstairs. Um, let's see, other announcements? Uh, let's see here. A monthly hangout. A week from tomorrow, we're going to be at Annie's Cafe for breakfast, 8 o'clock in the morning okay it's delicious it's worth it um let's see council meeting is on thursday this week at 6 30 all are invited we have a slot in our agenda every time for folks to share from the congregation so if you have anything to say you can come to council women's meeting happening after worship today in the social hall uh farewell potluck i am down to let's see after today Dos Mas Sundays, two more Sundays um, before I move to Iowa. Um, so I am just, I just read this. <laughs> so, um, we're having a potluck for me. Um, so on the 25th, be sure to come with some hunger in your belly. And then in the afternoon on the 25th, uh, confirmation students, the ones who have recently confirmed, they're not confirmation students anymore, um, but we're all going to camp together, to Camp Onamia. Um, you remember those noisy offerings we do. All of those funds have been going to Camp Onamia so far this year. Uh, Vacation Bible School registration is open, and it's going to be rocking. Betsy, wave your hand again so everyone knows that's Betsy. Um, and she is the person who will have all of the answers to all of your questions. She has volunteered to wake up at 3 in the morning to be with... No, she hasn't. Um, <laughs> But she's the one to come to. If she doesn't know the answer, she will know someone who will, or she will make time to find an answer for you. Um, Farm Fresh Faith is the theme this year, um, which is so appropriate for this congregation. Um, I'll let her kind of bounce around with folks, but we are looking for some live animals. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, we are, though, aren't we? Oh, yeah, we are. Okay, um, other announcements... I'm trying to think. I'll be at Shooty's on Thursday this week um, to get some ice cream and to have some office hours. I'm just noticing here it says 4 to 6. That's incorrect. I'll be there from 3 to 5 and not open after 5. So 3 to 5 at Shooty's on Thursday this week. Any other announcements I'm forgetting or not getting to? Wonderful. In that case, um, you can be seated for most of the service. If there's a time for you to stand, we'll make sure we ask you to. Uh, but let's join together in our thanksgiving for baptism. Just as God's work of creation never ends, 
so too the gift of baptism renews us every day. Let's give thanks for our life together and remember God's immeasurable grace granted to us in baptism. And as Oliver plays, you are invited to think about the beauty of water and of God's promises.
Let's pray. We give you thanks, O God, for life in Jesus Christ through your Holy Spirit, for our entry into Christ's death through these waters, for our new birth into a life of freedom and service, and for our calling to be your people sent out for the life of the world. Amen. Please join me in our prayer of the day. Almighty God, just as you sang creation into being, may we be made instruments of your love. Bless the worship of our hearts as we give thanks for your love and beauty. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. All right, kids, come on up, and I want you to sit in this front row right here. You know, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because Oliver is doing such an important thing for us today, the camera is facing over here, and I need to stand here so that I can talk into the microphone and be seen on the camera. Don't worry, you're not going to be on the camera. Now, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Turn around and look at the congregation and tell me, are there any children of God who did not come up? Yeah, who? Alex, Colin, Etta. Alex, Colin, Etta, and who? Kaya. Okay, well, they're confirmed, so they're voting members, right? They're actually adults now. What? All right. You know what? This is actually a trick question. You know why? Nope. Nope. I asked if there were any children of God who didn't come up. Turn around. Look at everybody out there. Every one of those people. A billion. Every one of these people and everyone else who's not here, right? They're all children of God. That's the sound of my brain blowing up, right? Everybody in the world is a child of God. Some of us might be children. Yep, me too. And you too, right? No matter if you're a kid or if you're an adult, to God, you're one of God's children, which means that God loves you so much, just like your parents and grandparents and uncles and aunts, just like everybody loves you, right? Yeah, Jesus loves you. You know what? That's exactly what I was going to say next. There are some songs that we learn as kids that help us remember that no matter how big we get or how old we get, God loves us. Yeah. Do you think we should sing it? I think we should. And turn around and look at this congregation. If they're children of God, do you think they should sing it with us? Yes. Yes. Okay. You know, we're putting most of the musical uh, stuff on Oliver today, but for this, we can join in some singing. So let's sing the first verse of Jesus Loves Me. You ready? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Yeah. You are never too old to sing those kinds of songs, right? No one's too old to sing those songs. And now we're going to move on with our worship. But before we do, we're going to say a prayer. Ready to do that? Do you think the children of God behind you should help us with our repeat after me prayer? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's have everybody help out. Dear God, thank you so much for giving us music and songs to help us love you and love each other. Amen. All right, thanks everybody. You can go back to your seats. That was it. That was not fun. Oh man. <laughs> oh, I love the honesty, right? All right, Betsy, I'm gonna have you come up here and stand by me so we can get to the gospel or the, the reading right after I do my interlude. Remember how I said this was gonna be different today? <laughs> 
So Gerard Way is the lead vocalist and co-founder of the band My Chemical Romance, and he says this about music. Remember the first time you went to a show and saw your favorite band? You wore their shirt and sang every word. You didn't know anything about scene politics, haircuts, or what was cool. All you knew was that this music made you feel different from anyone you shared a locker with. Someone finally understood you. This is what music is about. For us in a worship context, we're all here to be a part of something bigger than ourselves, to gather with like-minded and like-hearted folks, and we all sing along to the greater song that, Jesus, or that God began with Let There Be Light, and the song that continues yet today through each of us. We gather together to praise God because here, joined as one in Christ, we finally feel understood and like we have purpose. <clears throat> Our first reading today is from Chronicles 2, chapter 5, verse 2, 11 through 14. Then Solomon assembled the elders of Israel and all the heads of the tribes, the leaders of the ancestral houses of the people of Israel in Jerusalem to bring up the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord out of the city of David, which is Zion, now when the priests came out of the holy place, for all the priests who were present had sanctified themselves without regard to their divisions, all the Levitical singers, Asaph, Heman, and Jadathan, their sons and kindred arrayed in fine linens with cymbals, harps, and lyres, stood east of the altar with 120 priests who were trumpeters. It was the duty of the trumpeters and singers to make themselves heard in unison in praise and thanksgiving to the Lord. And when the song was raised with trumpets and cymbals and other musical instruments in praise to the Lord. For he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. The house, the house of the Lord was filled with a cloud so that the priests could not stand to minister because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the house of God. Holy wisdom, holy word. Thanks be to God.
Edward Benjamin Britten, more commonly known as Benjamin Britten, died at just 63 years old in 1976. But he's famous the world over for his dramatic and passionate compositions, and he says this about his experience with music. It's cruel, you know, that music should be so beautiful. It has the beauty of loneliness, of pain, of strength and freedom, the beauty of disappointment and never satisfied love, the cruel beauty of nature and the everlasting beauty of monotony. It's not unusual in this place to come up against the uncomfortable or the confusing. The words we sing, the scriptures we read, the sacraments we embody, all of these bring together the beautiful, complex, and wide parts of the human experience. It's like Britain says, cruel, you know, that life can carry us through such highs and such lows. But here, here in the sanctuary and with these, our worshiping family, here we learn that we do not traverse the cruel polarities by ourselves. Instead, a God of beauty and life and hope goes with us to help us make sense of this wild ride. Please join with me in responsibly uh, Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise, Praise him, him for his, his mighty deeds. deeds. Praise him according to his surpassing greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Music creates order out of chaos, for rhythm imposes unanimity upon the divergent. Melody imposes continuity upon the disjointed, and harmony imposes compatibility upon the incongruous. These words came from the heart of Yehudi Menuhin, an American-born violinist and conductor who spent most of his career overseas in Britain. In the early church, the word, the world, was nothing but chaos for those Christ followers. Between persecutions, misinformation, and very little collaboration between churches, it was not unusual for even these few followers to argue about theology or praxis. Hymns were a way to teach a unified theology even in the midst of chaos, disjointed communities, and divergent ideas. Our second reading today is from Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Holy wisdom, holy word, thanks be to God.
Maya Angelou, one of the most influential poets and activists in our country and time, dedicated her life to beauty, liberation, and justice. It is hard to be a prophetess. It is hard to soldier through a world that gets so angry at truth-telling. For Maya Angelou, music was sanctuary. She says, music was my refuge. I could crawl into the space between the notes and curl my back to loneliness. Prophets of every age know the hardness of that call. They know what it's like to feel the contempt of their peers, to feel the sting of stones raining on their heads, to feel the anguish of trying to keep their truth hidden and unspoken. We praise God for these heroines and heroes, for the courage and strength they possessed, and for the gifts we've received at the expense of their pain. In scripture, a most courageous prophetess responded to God's call with strength, hope, and a brave, screw you, to the haters. An angel tells Mary that she will bear a child, the child of God, God's self, the savior of the world. And immediately, she begins to sing. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, the 28th chapter. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to their ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Thank you. 
Not going to lie, best sermon I've heard all year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are at this point going to officially install our call committee. And so when I read your name, I'd like you to just stand where you are and stay standing. <laughs> if, if, if you're able. Uh, the following people have been appointed by the congregation to serve on the call committee of Redeemer. And uh, you can stand as I read your name. Ruth Lobbs Cody. Am I saying that right or is it Cody Lobbs? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Mary Dvorak. Jake Howard. Dakota and Justin Krentz. I don't think could be here today. Yeah, yeah. Betsy Olhoff. Darlene Steer, Pam Weirs. It's not Wires, is it? Oh, man. Started out strong, ended weak. Pam Wires, thank you. In holy baptism, our Lord Jesus Christ liberated us from sin and death and made us members of the church. And through word and sacrament, we've been nurtured in faith. St. Paul writes, There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit gives them. There are different ways of serving, but the same Lord is served. There are different abilities to perform service, but the same God gives to everyone ability for particular service. The Spirit's presence is shown in some way in each person for the good of all. You, people who are standing, are being appointed to positions of trust in this congregation. It will be your duty in, constitution, or in consultation with the bishop's office to seek out an appropriate candidate for the pastor of the Evangelical Lutheran Church of the Redeemer. You must be faithful in your efforts, always respecting the concerns of the congregation while at the same time maintaining the integrity of the process. Above all else, you must be diligent in prayer so that God's will is done and it is God who's glorified in your efforts. On behalf of your siblings in Christ, I ask you, are you ready to accept and faithfully carry out the duties of this appointment? If so, please say yes with the help of God. Yes. Congregation, I invite you to stand as well. People of God, I ask you, will you support these members of the call committee? Will you remember them in your prayers and respect their responsibilities and honor their efforts? If so, please respond yes with the help of God. I ask us all together with everyone who is gathered in worship today to confess the faith of our church, the faith in which we are baptized with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I now declare our call committee of Redeemer established and called and installed. God bless you with his Holy Spirit that you may prove faithful servants of Christ. Amen. And I think at this point it's fair to offer our thanksgiving and gratitude for these folks with a round of applause. You may be seated. And as you turn to hymn number 232 in your red ELW. Um, this is a new hymn that I'm, I mean, I know this congregation well enough to know you probably have not sung this. <laughs> um, there is, it says, there's three parts. There's all, there's group one, and there's group two. I'm gonna lead group one, and I invite you to follow with me. Um, Oliver here is gonna just play his accompaniment. You'll hear part two, you'll hear group two in the accompaniment, but we'll all sing part one together. If you feel brave or like challenging yourself, you can always hop to part two, um, but we'll just kind of stick with part one to keep it easier on us. <laughs> Before you, the 
incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. As you continue in your prayer life at home, I ask you to keep the people on our prayer list, also in your thoughts and prayers and in your heart, and then I have some people here to add to your list. Um, Brayson uh, Brayback, I ask you to add to your list as he is getting his throat checked out. What started out as, um, as strep throat um, has turned into something bigger. So please pray for him and his family. The Grand Courage family, uh, their son Julian has died. And so we remember them in our thoughts and prayers as well. Uh, pray for your congregation. Pray for Redeemer in this time of transition and your call committee. Uh, pray for Gary A., um, Darlene's nephew, and pray for Craig Peterson, who is our contact at the Synod office. I invite you to please stand as you are able. May the peace of Christ be with you all. Let's take a moment to share that peace with those around us. That was it. You can be seated. <laughs> uh, at this time, while we listen to Oliver play some more, we're going to collect our offering. Um, we do have noisy offering. Oliver, is that cool? Yep. Is that going to throw you off? Nope. Okay, cool. He says it's fine. Um, so we'll have noisy offering. Camp Onamia, remember? Um, and can I have some volunteers to help distribute the plates? Yeah? All right. Our former confirmation students. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. things you think about when you put a worship service together. When I heard that piece at his recital, I was like, noisy offering. Okay. <laughs> Running around and so good. <laughs> um, let's pray. God of field and forest, sea and sky, you are the giver of all good things. 
Sustain us with these gifts of your creation and multiply your graciousness in us that the world may be fed with your love through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Please receive this blessing. May the God who calls across the cosmos and speaks in the smallest seed bless, keep, and sustain you now and to the end of the age. Amen.
Thank you so much, Oliver. Honestly, like, how lucky are we, right? Um, at his recital, he had some stuff to share about each, each piece before he played them. So if you have questions about um, any of the pieces you heard today, yep. Yep, Oliver will tell you the answer. <laughs> yeah, but also don't keep him too long because he also has to get to his grad party, right? Um, so hold on to those questions also for next week. <laughs> Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks, Oliver. Thank you. Man, that was awesome. That was rocking. Yeah. It's weird that that's the second most stressful thing I have today. Is it? Yeah, right? Honestly. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it's going to be a long day, but then at the end of the day, just like chill out. Oh, yeah. Oh, you did a job. Wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you.